behind a secure fence and surrounded by the secure walls of South Africa's National Zoo, Lola the tiger can be guaranteed a fairly long life. But it's not the case for most of his wild friends, who are hunted for their bones and skin. And the threat to tigers has more recently extended to lions. Which is why veterinarian Dr. Ian Espy is preparing a sedative. Amber knows all about what's coming, and she's not pleased. But her DNA will contribute to protecting her wild friends. As tigers become increasingly scarce, lion bones are more often substituted for tiger bones in pseudomedicines. It's a lucrative business. A single lion skeleton can be sold for over 10,000 US dollars, and the demand is impacted on wild populations through poaching. Leopards are also threatened for the trade in illegal bones, although less so in Africa than in India. As part of the DNA barcoding of Wildlife Project, the zoo is sequencing the DNA of a number of feline predators. With Amber now deep asleep, the team can safely enter and begin the sampling process. Veterinary nurse Marilise Barmeyer is leading the work for the zoo. She and her team collect hair and blood samples, which will be taken to their laboratory for processing. To maintain what is called platinum standards for forensics investigations, they photograph every step in the process so that there is a record of the chain of custody of the samples. This is important for proving the validity of the DNA barcodes produced, in case there is ever an inquiry or a challenge of the evidence during a court case involving illegally traded line parts. The team also records key identification features of every animal they sample. In Amber's case, it's her ears and paws. Sampling done, all that remains is to retrieve the dart flight feather and then wait for Amber to revive. Although, when she does, it's clear she isn't going to be civil to anyone for a while at least. <laughs>